Hello everyone. In this E3D tutorial, we are doing the pipe modeling. And you will see how we can model pipe routing in E3D. So let's start. Before starting the piping, you should have keep in mind we should always in the piping module here. And there is so many modules, but in the piping modeling, we have to go to the piping. And after that, you in the piping, you have to select a particular zone in which you are model the piping. So let's say this is my zone. And we are going to model piping from this nozzle to this point. We are connecting to this piping. So you have to go ahead, create pipe. And you have to put the naming here. And you see here, the naming of this zone is given by the pipe diameter. 100, 100, 200, 150. So we don't know what is the diameter of this bra sorry, nozzle. For this, click on the nozzle. Right click. And then click on nozzle. So we are in this nozzle. It is highlighted one here. You have to check Q para. And this is 150 diameter, 6 inch. Now we have to check the rating of this nozzle also for this QSP ref and it is 600 pound rating of this nozzle. Now we know that this is 6 inch pipe and 600 rating. So we are in the John here, you type the name 150D any name. This pipe name you have to enter from the PNID. When you are going to model a piping, you will get a PNID from that company and you have to model as per the PNID. For your convenience, I will show you one PNID. Let's say this is a PNID and this is a pipe number, you have to enter exactly this number. This number, everything. You have to put only this number as per the PNID when you model the piping in your company. So, my pipe naming is according to this, so I give this number. You put the system number, whatever you want, as per your penalty. Then select the spec, pipe specification. And this specification will be different when you are doing E3D in your, your E3D. So, you select from the PNID what type of rating or you will use or spec number use. Here my rating is 150 and I will use this one, this spec 600. And you set the diameter here. My pipe is diameter 150. And this is the insulation. If there is no insulation in your PNID, don't select. Simply select here, none. But I select this one, whatever number is there, I K, then I apply. And my pipe is created here, in the 3D here. Branch is also created. So I have to connect head. head. What is head? You are starting piping from which point that is head and where you want to connect, that is the tail point. So this is head point here given, tail point is also given here. First I will select head point, select this arrow, click on this nozzle. Yeah, as you saw here, my head is created here along with this nozzle, so this gasket and flange is coming automatically. Now you have to click here, create component. After clicking create component, and this box is open now. This 
this is coming automatically you have to once at this two when there is a nozzle you have to create first ga gasket so let's start this range and nozzle come automatically when we select the nozzle so i first i will create a gasket here so this is my gasket and this is a forward mode you have to click here in the flow this is a kit component click this one you saw here the gasket is created there now i want a flange there are in type weld neck flange fso and weld neck mostly we said weld neck this is the weld neck and then create now this weld neck flange is created here now i will create elbow created 90 degree elbow because i want to do the piping downward we have to change the direction to change the direction click on modify and click on d if you want to put north click on north as per your requirement but i want to put in d then i click again elbow Elbow is created. I will go to modify and I will distance here. One point two meter. Now I want to create one valve here. For valve, I need a flange. Create a valve bearing neck flange. To modify, I want to move a spool of five hundred. for pipe spool and a distance from the center i will show you here now this is a distance this is a spool distance it means straight pipe distance is there 500 and if you click this one this is a, from center of this elbow to this point is 852 but if you the pipe spool from end of this flange and end of the elbow is 500 only i will can guess it here no why i want to create a wall set on wall here i want to go wall so here you can change the orientation of the wall as per your layout point of view i want to invest here you can change the coordinates from here if any component here you can rotate this one if the wall orientation is there and let's say i want to zero it will 180 90 270 and zero horizontal you can change the rotation from here and then go back we have to create one gasket here again a flange now we have to create one outlet for drain let's say i get this one 1 inch you saw here in the already created here we will change the orientation i want to down side 
and here I want to give a spool of 350 and create elbow again and I change the direction to modify direction downside now I want to bring this elbow of center of this pipe you can do it by two points first one you simply go here you measure a distance uh, we select here element here click on this nozzle and in this nozzle the distance is here 430236 you can simply move this pipe by north you will always find the direction is given here north if you want to move it north north this is my direction you see it is already went there this is the first method second method is let's we will move back you go to modify here we and modify click on this arrow size and you have to very careful select here the element only select this element and select which pipe or recommend or where you want to move i want to move here this is automatically gone there now i want to connect tail point here for that I have to get T in this pipe for this you have to click here C piping when the color of the pipe is changed it means you move to new pipe here you can saw here this is a 328 and, and this is a 328 this is the nozzle three elbow I want to get T here and here I want to create equality and you can change the P point of the T from this location if you want this is my first or a P point and P leave is 2 same way this is a P arrive and P leave is 0.3 as per your requirement I create T now I will bring this go to modify bring this pipe to here now we have to connect the tail point for that we have to go our pipe here and we have to set again send C click here branch now we are on the branch had we already connected it is showing here connected to the nozzle 7 sub equipment so and so if you click in branch it is still yellow no unconnected again click, click this cursor arrow select this one you saw here in this way our pipe is completed and we have to create one drain point here so you have to We have to create new branch. We create a new branch. Same way what we done previously. Select the head. We select here. And now we have to create a component. I want to create a flange. A well neck. we click on the wrong one here we have to select see this branch 
Two. We have to untick this one, these two. Gasket. Sorry, this is only all right. So we don't we need to delete this one. Here we simply get a flange. We have to get a gasket here. Because this specification is different, that's why it is showing some error. When there is error, it will always, always give this error. This is a threaded verb, that's why it is getting problem. So in this case, we have to only click the get the wall because the rating is 600. We have to change the orientation of this one. This is the last member we have to connect here. So in this way we catered a pipe here from this point to this point. Hope you understand this one. Thanks for watching.